Hey, uh, this is Mr. Swift. I want to just show you how to uh, take your two-dimensional frame and start turning it into a three-dimensional bike frame. So uh, a couple things that we need to do before we start any of the 3D work is we need to get rid of some of those lines. I know that you put your, you offset all those lines, you made the tubes look two-dimensional, but what we're going to do is we're going to delete most of them. Um, so I'm going to uh, come back to my sketch one and I'm going to delete um, most of the lines, most of the outside lines. We want to keep all those center lines and uh, delete most everything else. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking on the line and hitting the delete key. Um, I think another way you can do that oh, is um, I'm going to try it right here. You can right click on a line and just scroll down to delete. Um, right click, delete. Now, um, like I said earlier, you're going to want to delete most of the lines, but there's going to be three lines that you want to leave. And those three lines are going to be, you want one at the circle, one on the seat tube, and one on the head tube. So I'm going to come here and delete three of these lines. And hopefully the reason why will become apparent in just a minute. All right. So looking at my drawing, um, and I'm going to turn this into a construction line, maybe because I just forgot to do that before. So I'm going to also make sure that my C tube line extends down to my bottom bracket. So, um, all right, come here. My dog was saying, hey, she wanted some attention. So um, she'll help me do this. All right, so I've got three lines. I've got my head tube line, one of those. I have a C tube line and one of those. And my bottom bracket line, I have one of those. So we're going to do three different things today. We're going to make a head tube, we're going to make a bottom bracket, and we're going to make the seat tube. The first easy one to make is a bottom bracket. We're going to exit the sketch, and we're going to click on the features. We're going to do an extruded boss, and we're going to click on the bottom bracket for that. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to, because we hopefully drew that on one plane, we're going to extend that bottom bracket in both directions. So we're going to do direction one and direction two. And our amount that we're going to extrude that is 34 millimeters. And you need to do that to both sides. The bottom bracket itself, oh, I don't have one of those me anymore, but the bottom bracket itself is 34 or 68 millimeters. So we're extruding one side 34 and the other side 34, and that will give us a total of 68. Now, the other thing we want to do is we want to turn on the thin feature. And with the thin feature, what we're going to do is give that uh that circle just a little bit of thickness and what we'll do is we'll give it two millimeters of thickness and so if i click okay um you can see that we've got a nice bottom bracket drawn so again that was extrude boss 34 millimeters one side 34 millimeters the other side turn on thin feature and um, click okay all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're oh what happened our bike disappeared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on that feature and I'm going to right click on, or I'm just going to click on our sketch one and I want to show. We want, actually want to see this. And so what happened is when we got done with that extrude feature, it, it hid the geometry that we had created. But we want to see that geometry because we're going to use it for a couple more things. So make sure that you've turned on the that. Here's the eyeball. And again, you can just click that back and forth. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this seat tube. So I'm going to do features. I'm gonna do something called a revolve base, a revolve boss. And I'm going to click on uh, what we wanna revolve. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that line for the seat tube and we're gonna spin it around. So here it's gonna say axis of revolution. We're gonna click on our cent oh, we're gonna click on our center line for our, our axis of revolution. And then the selected contour, is going to be that seat post line again. And then we're going to click on thin feature and we're going to make that thin feature one millimeter thick. So what we've done is we've taken that line, we've spun it around and then we've given it some thickness. And then we say, okay. And then that gives us a seat tube, which is pretty awesome. And then we're going to do the same thing with our head tube. So again, I'm going to do revolve boss. I'm going to click on that line of the head tube. All right. And 
it says, what's our axis of revolution? So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to click on our head tube line, center line. And then it says, what are we um, revolving? We're revolving that, and we're going to do thin feature. And this time we're going to make it two millimeters thick, because your head tube is usually a little bit thicker than your seat tube. So I'm going to click on two millimeters, and then say OK. And you can see that we've got a head tube now. So uh, this should be as far as that we, we're going to get today on our uh, three-dimensional frame. Um, as you can see in our video, it didn't take too long, um, but if you're working on your own, it might take a little bit longer. Um, our next step is to turn our top tube and our down tube into tubes, and then we're going to work on the rear triangle. The rear triangle is really challenging, so we're going to do that a little bit more next week. So um, again, I'll be in the Google Meet. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up. Good luck. Oh, don't forget to save.